This programme is brought to you by Shield Total Insurance, the specialists in motorhome and campervan insurance. We tested. Oh, what was that? And this is my motorhome, The Beast. We listened. We challenged. No, no, that's fine. We experienced. We travelled. We had fun. We are Motorhome TV. Motorhome TV is brought to you by real enthusiasts. Let's meet two of our great team. Claire is the editor of Caravan, a fun, family-friendly magazine that celebrates all that's great about caravanning, from the best campsites to the once-in-a-lifetime adventures. Instagram-obsessed, she regularly heads to some of this green and pleasant land's finest landscapes and shows off how lucky she is to have a job that involves being outside in the fresh air. She blames her parents for the walking bug she was infected with in the early 80s. They made her climb Snowdon at the age of six, there's photo evidence of her smiling at the summit, but this joy was only because they'd promised they'd be heading back down on the train. They lied. The same thing happened in Austria, but she doesn't want to talk about it. Claire got behind the wheel of a motorhome in 2012 and has toured extensively throughout the UK and Europe, and along the way she's met some pretty interesting characters. One of her fondest memories was truffle hunting with dogs in the Dordogne. She's quite the animal lover, always wandering off her own pitch in search of a pup to play with. Claire doesn't have a dog of her own, and she's yet to find a campsite that will cater for her flock of 12 hens. Where will Claire end up next? That's anyone's guess. This girl could turn up anywhere. Will is an outdoorsman at heart and enjoys nothing more than hiking, cycling and adventure holidays in the UK and abroad. Being away from it all, walking in the hills and remote countryside is his therapy. And his favourite holidays include canoe holidays in wild Sweden, walking in the Scottish mountains, and hiking in the Alpujura mountains in Spain. He's been motorhoming and caravanning since 2016 and has been a camper for most of his life. Slinging on his hiking gear and a pair of hiking boots, is one of the best feelings before he heads out for a day in the mountains. He avoids crowds and traffic jams like the plague. Buying a motorhome is a big commitment. To help you decide what model is right for you, Motorhome TV's expert tester, Peter Vaughan, puts one of the latest new models through its paces every week. Seventy grand's worth of Italian style, 160 horsepower, and sat now as standard. No, not this bike. The Mobile Vetta Motorhome. The whole point of a van like this is having a big space to put your bikes indoors in the dry. You've got a lightsaber to find all your stuff and a proper bedroom above. The shower pod is at the foot of the beds which are twin singles 2.05 meters and 1.92 meters long. Or you can slide out an extra cushion and ladder to make a simply vast double. There's plenty of storage a separate toilet cubicle and a dividing door to the rest of the van. At the front it's quite a typical continental motorhome layout apart from the fact that the door is on the UK side and then when you come into the kitchen area it starts to feel really quite special. The first thing you notice is this Corian style worktop with a nice lip and a really curvy front to it and then well, there's the sink cover that becomes a shelf. Kitchen roll holder, the mixed gas and induction hob, a bin set into the worktop, and then large drawers that soft close, 
cupboards that almost open themselves. And I rather like this. Neat storage that's even got a little secret compartment. Opposite, there's a 149 litre fridge freezer with the oven above, all in a neat black tower. More storage too with this slide out unit for all your packets and tins. And there's lighting everywhere. Even the coat hooks illuminated. The lounge area is quite conventional, but it does feel quite plush. And there's loads of daylight thanks to this big overcab sunroof. And the table's big too. But if you want to get it out of the way, just put your foot on a foot pedal and it'll slide in all directions. And the other thing I really rather like are these upholstered kick plates on the bases of all the seats. And the Kia is a four berth with four travel seats as long as you specify the 3,650 kilo chassis. The other bed, well, you just press a button and it comes down from the lounge ceiling. Very comfortable. When you become a motorhomer, you also become a member of one of the liveliest and most welcoming communities. Motorhoming attracts everyone from young families to adventurous retired couples and everyone in between. And they all are united by a love of life, a love of adventure and a love of the great outdoors. Let's meet a couple. This is Tony and Lingaldi. They've been motorhoming for over 20 years. When we, when we bought the first motorhome, a small one, we had the boat down on the south coast. So we used the motorhome to go down to the south coast and to spend the, the, the travelling in. But after only three years, the van proved not to be the one for our intrepid couple. And so Tony and Lynn searched high and low for the motorhome of their dreams. We, we came across a Auto Trail Chieftain. So we decided to go for a new model, uh, which is the van that we have today. Three years later, and Tony decided something else had to be done. Uh, we decided to um, do a total respray. Hang on, you've obviously had experience of this sort of thing before. Are you any good at it? No, he's all self-taught, really, um, but he's really good. <laughs> but we've always been into customising, you see. I think he follows after his dad. We set about stripping it down, taking all the decals off, which were a bit of a pain. The glue was a particular problem, but we managed to get all the glue off and uh, prepare it. We spent 12 days actually rubbing it down and preparing the body for respray. And then it only took us two days to actually lay the paint on um, and about five coats of top quality lacquer. The end result was um, published in MMM in 2010. I would have loved an island bed, but of course we haven't got the room in here anyway. Um, so what I decided to do was design a slide out, which came from under the front of the bed. And if I made two small cushions to replicate an extension to the mattress and turn the bed around so it faces forward in the van, which we eventually did. The only modification that I really would like to um, carry out but I haven't succeeded in uh, bringing Lynn round to my, um, my perspective yet, is uh, a twin slide out at the front here. <laughs> but uh, it'll be a case of what's this space, I think. <laughs> and what do you think about all this motorhome in Malarkey, Lynn? Well, the twin slide out idea, I think, um, in your dreams. <laughs> The, the, the fact that we don't have to interfere with each other, if we want to get out in the middle of the night... It, it, oh, oh, yeah, that does sound really good. So, if you ever see an Autotrail Chieftain with a nice blue exterior colour and a transverse bed, it might just be our dear Tony and Lynn. If you're new to the motorhome hobby, it can be daunting driving onto a campsite when you've no idea what you're supposed to do. How exactly do you level a motorhome? or hook up the electric. Well, here we take the mystery out of it all with these campsite challenges. Good morning and welcome back to Woodland Waters in Ancaster. Um, uh, last week we did the driving challenge through the cones. The teams got on relatively unscathed. One did better than the other. But here we are back in week two for the second challenge. Come 
Morning, guys. Morning. How Morning. are you feeling? Good. Good stuff. Well, this week the challenge is a little bit more difficult. We're going to ask you to completely level the motorhomes, okay? You're not going to use any technology, no equipment, nothing like that, no spirit levels. It's all in your head. We want you to go about it, use your ingenuity, and we'll see how level you can get them. Let's find out what you've got to do. So how are you feeling about this? You were very confident greens last week. Are you still confident? Of course. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, well, we'll see how you get on. And oranges, you did better than we expected last week. Is that, is that giving you that extra bit of confidence to see how we get on this week? Um, yes, less driving, the better. <laughs> You can't say that, can you? Alright, come on then, let's find the ramps. Oh. To the left. A little bit to the left, maybe? Okay, not too much. I'll do the back and then you can do the front. Okay. Side. Bit down on the bit front. Bit down the front, yeah, I reckon. Right, let's get inside. Any joy? Not yet, have you? Actually, that's not that bad. Okay, what so about front, front to back? back. Yeah, oh, def yeah. Definitely needs to go up at the front then. Right, right. let's get the um, get the uh, the ramps, wherever they are. Aha, I've got them. Thank Ooh. you. What do you think? Yeah, I'm happy. What about in the bathroom? In the washroom? Give it a good yank. Hey! All right. Okay, ready? I can't see anything, I'm all on you. Yeah? Nice and straight, yep. Right, I'll go and you give me a shout when you uh... Handbrake off? Handbrake is off. Right, slowly. What do you reckon? One or two? Oh, habitation doors open. Can you quickly oh. shut that? Keep yeah. going. Yeah, moving. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Right, stop. Oh, did put the handbrake on. Oh, my God! <laughs> Is it working? No, you're spinning. <laughs> right, slowly. Oh. Keep going. Right, stop. Keep going, keep going. A little bit more. Okay, try that. Okay. Do you want to check round the side with the... Okay. Handbrake on. Handbrake on. Only handbrake. Yep, level. Uh, can't get a handbrake on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Done it. Perfect, I reckon. Coming up after the break, we reveal the winner of the campsite challenge. Have a look around one of the most expensive motorhomes money can buy. And Will walks the UK countryside. This programme is brought to you by Shield Total Insurance, the specialists in motorhome and campervan insurance. Warner Shows have been organising the largest outdoor motorhome and campervan shows in the UK for 30 years. 
with nine locations to choose from, four nights of live entertainment with various themes and headline acts, a huge display of new and used vehicles to help you choose the right model for your lifestyle, a vast selection of outdoor leisure accessories and hobby essentials, but most importantly of all, something for everyone. Visit the motorhome experts at Chelston Motorhomes Wellington Somerset, a family-run business that has been delivering motorhomes for over 30 years and have built up an unrivaled reputation for quality and customer service. There's a huge choice of quality pre-inspected new and used motorhomes, and all backed with comprehensive warranties. Come along and view our stock at leisure in relaxed surroundings or find us online at chelstononline.co.uk or call 01823 Double six two zero seven five. We're open seven days a week. So, why is MMM Britain's best-selling motorhome magazine? Perhaps because it's been the market leader for 54 years. Maybe because it covers everything a motorhome owner needs to know. Or because it is written by motorhome experts. And it provides great inspirational travel ideas and has the most in-depth road tests of the latest models and it answers all your technical queries as well as keeping you in touch with everything that's going on in the world of motorhomes no actually it's all of these things and more mmm britain's best-selling motorhome magazine Get your issue of MMM now at pocketmags.com forward slash MMM or in the shops. If you're looking for motorhome or campervan insurance, then look no further than Shields Total Insurance, the motorhome specialists. We hold the FIFO Platinum Trusted Service Award for consistently delivering excellence so you can get all of this. So call us today on 0800 980 7021 or go to shieldtotalinsurance.co.uk forward slash TV to get a quote. Shield Total Insurance. Whatever your motorhome takes you, we've got you covered. This programme is brought to you by Shield Total Insurance, the specialists in motorhome and campervan insurance. So challenge two is complete and both teams have done really, really well. Green team, how did you find it? It was a bit harder than I thought, but it was okay. It was all right. Good stuff. Good. Oranges? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah? Pretty straightforward, you think? Yeah, I'd say so. Well, the times have been calculated, and I can safely say that the green teams did it in 4 minutes and 33 seconds, and the oranges were actually a lot quicker with 2 minutes and 8 seconds. Oh. But time isn't everything. It all depends on whether the vans are level. So let's have a look, shall we? I've got my spirit level. So as you can see, the middle bubble here is just a tiny little bit off centre towards the left, so your, your front end is just a little bit too high, and the second bubble is absolutely smack bang in the middle, so you've absolutely nailed it. It couldn't be more level if you tried that way. Well done, us. Well done. So as you can see, guys, the middle bubble here is all the way over to the right, which means you're far too up on this side, and the other bubble is all the way back which means your front end is far too high. So while your time was pretty respectable, unfortunately you're not level at all. So that was rubbish. better look next time. So that's it for this week. The challenge is complete. A surprise victory for the Oranges. We'll come back next week and we'll see how the teams get on. Yet again, the novices, who have never been in a motorhome before, let alone driven one, win the campsite challenge and prove just how easy it is to drive and manoeuvre a modern motorhome. The joy of motorhoming is that it gives its owners the chance to get away whenever and go wherever they want. Will and fellow outdoor enthusiast Penny did just this when they decided to take their motorhome into the Lake District for a bit of hiking. Penny and I headed up to the Lake District to bag our first Wainwrights. one of 214 fells in the Lake District, usually over a thousand feet high. 
We stayed at Winfell Horn Farm campsite near Buttermere in the northwest of the Lake District. It's a basic site in a beautiful setting within walking distance of a pub and a local shop. The next day we prepared our hiking gear and headed out on a walk to head up our first Wainwright, known as Red Pike. We set off from Lowswater village and headed out towards the western side of Crummock Water. You soon leave the quiet roads and join the path by the two and a half mile long lake. It's a steady climb to Red Pike, but it's hard going near the summit. As we dropped off the summit, the cloud cleared to reveal great views of Crummock Water. Next, we came off Red Pike and headed over rough ground towards Scale Force. The beck has some waterfalls in it and the path is steep in places. And the view over Lowe's Water is wonderful. We walked nine miles that day. It was back to the motorhome for dinner and a good rest. For our last full day, we decided to climb Grassmoor which is 2,795 feet or 852 meters above sea level. We drove to a car park at the foot of the mountain for the eight mile route and started to climb up the ridge known as Lad House. It's steep most of the way up, but the views are great. But as we got to the summit of Grassmoor, the cloud lifted and we could see the Solway Firth in Scotland and over to Scarfell Pike. Next, we headed along to climb more Wainwrights called Crag Hill and Wandope. The views across the Lake District are spectacular. We soon hiked down Whiteless Pike towards Ranadale, following Squat Beck. It's a glorious view either side of you on the ridge. Ranadale is famous for its bluebells. Legend has it that the flowers bloom as a result of the bloods of slain Norman invaders ambushed by Britons over 900 years ago. Then it was back to the campsite for a shower, a beer in the evening sunshine, and a meal in the nearby pub. The Lake District is a stunning region and perfect for anyone who loves the outdoors. Have you ever daydreamed of having £300,000 to spend on whatever you want? Well, Claire Kelly went on a hunt to find out just what this would buy in a motorhome showroom. So, what can £300,000 get you? Well, it can get you around five of these motorhomes, or it can get you something entirely different. Several terraced houses in Leyland, a dozen caravans, ten park holiday homes, or... Wow! I mean, this is amazing. Now this, this is pretty comfortable. I could stay here all day. I think I'd quite like to take this van. Where's this, where's the steering wheel? Okay, yeah, so here it is. Obviously, you can't, can't be. Okay, so that, we're in that plan. Very flexible. I'm not sure how you open this. I reckon I might just uh, get someone to come and cook for me. Yeah, that's who I'll take. I'll take a chef with me. I could fill that with shoes. Quite liking the idea of a shower. <laughs> hmm. I might have to work this out. This is like a boutique hotel, this bathroom. Look at all this space. I'm going to have to get some more makeup. Oh, it makes kind of a funny noise. Oh, I know what it is. It's a fan. And look at the towel rail. I've never seen a towel rail in a motown before. Yeah, shoes. I need more shoes. Oh, yeah. This is really comfortable. It's a huge bed. Look. I was so impressed that I needed to find out more. And who better to ask than Rod Jolly, sales specialist at Southdowns. OK, so I've got £300,000. What's my money going to get me? Well, this model we're sitting in today is a Concorde Charisma 850L. It's probably our biggest selling model across the range. The range starts from somewhere around about 153 as a base price before you spec. 
um, up to around about 633 as wow. a base price before you spec, mm -hmm. ending up at somewhere around about 800,000. This model we're in today at 300,000 um, is, a, is a total luxury, you know, basically. Yes, you've seen I it. can tell. Yeah, you've walked around. What do you think? You tell me. What I do you think, think it's amazing. The space is absolutely incredible, and it's just, uh, to be honest, it made me feel like a rock star. I feel so posh. Well, uh, rock stars, yes, we do have that kind of customer occasionally, but we also have very, very uh, normal down to earth people, people that maybe are property rich, decided to downsize, the kids have gone, they've retired, there's a bit of money in the pot in the property, they say let's get a small flat and a luxury home to take us all over Europe. That sounds amazing. So where are we going to go? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> first of all, we need to get the steering wheel back on. <laughs> <laughs> I was so impressed with the Concorde, she had one more surprise. Claire, where are you? I'm trying to show you something. What are you doing there? Coming up next week, we meet motorhome fanatic Stephen Walker and his wife Chris. Our expert road tester Peter Vaughan reviews the latest Benimar Tesoro and we set the toughest campsite challenge so far to set up a driveway awning to a motorhome. is brought to you by Shield Total Insurance, the specialists in motorhome and campervan insurance.